Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Monday morning here. Just uh, about an hour and a half before the European Open or before London gets in. Let's talk about oil and the Saudis. I won't get too political here because this is not the uh, space for it. Those of you who know me know how I feel about Saudi Arabia. I've done a fair bit of business with these... Uh, these types in my career. They are getting pissed um, with this Khashoggi, uh, you know, thing, murder, whatever. Um, and now everyone's thinking they are going to uh, hold back some oil flow. Oil opened with a gap, traded up to 72.77. Um, we don't, uh, we don't really have a dog in this fight, and I'm not really sure what to do with it, I'm just mentioning it, because this is going to be it on the market's frontal lobe for the next couple of days. There's already talk about, gee, weed, oil can go to 100, it can go higher, uh, the Saudis control the oil market, um, my instinct is that, uh, this is BS, and, and the, the Saudis control less of the oil market than they think they do. Um, I have bias against that regime and that culture. Um, I don't like the way they treat women. Oh wait, I'm not getting political. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, I have bias here. Um, let's just put it this way. This is something to watch. Um, there's the first resistance is uh, 73.10, uh, and it gets obviously massively serious if you get above 77 bucks. So, because I'm burdened with bias on this, I will just leave it alone and tell people to watch this space. Let's talk uh, currencies where I'm more open-minded and, and uh, more professional. Merkel and her people, not Merkel herself, but uh, CSU uh, got hurt on the weekend elections in Germany. It was kind of a sort of a stunning punch in the face for Merkel and her, her party. This is not going to be good for Euro, nor is it going to be good for Euro-Yen. Um, Euro-Yen is going to get through uh, 129.20 at the open here in Europe. Um, this will be just sort of a standard uh, headline type reaction move. Whether it can hold down there uh, is going to be dependent on rates and how serious the market takes this. You see the 10 years at 315, so that's pretty steady. In general, I think Euro is just kind of a core short uh, deal. So the technicals on Euro are, are, are less clear. We printed that low of uh, 35 on Friday. We should break that low at the open as well. Euro Yen will drag us down there. We'll have to see. Euro Yen looks like the horse. Uh, stocks are neutral, but not bid. Just kind of sitting here in the 60s. You're going to see a lot of people try and sell between 75 and 28 the figure. Of all the reading I did over the weekend, this looks like the consensus view from, I would say, uh, my type of peers, CTAs, and, and uh, tactical traders. There are a few people who are saying, stick a bit in, this is overdone. Um, but the deal is basically this. If this thing, you know, if we do get bids, offers filled up to 20, 28 the figure, prepare for some pain. It reminds me um, of Dollar Cad the other day. When we were, we knew every single human in the world was selling at 128.50, um, 
and we said if 128.50 trades they'll all be short and then there'll be a squeeze looks like this is going to be the play in euro so in, in uh, S&P so tactical short at a good average is the way to do this be super nimble um, don't marry anything even though we our bias is down um, right now it looks like a crowded notion so be careful uh, so we'll, we're carefully selling S&P's let's put it that way we're spending a lot of time um, looking at this 30 year as well we haven't talked about it too much but uh, we are on the short end, short side of this 30. We've been playing it on the 138 handle pretty successfully last week. We're just selling high ones in the 30 year until further notice. So every day we walk in and we say, "What's where's our open? Today we're going to be selling sort of 139.10, between 139 the figure and 139.10. Um, and then we just try and nibble back maybe a half a point or maybe 15 ticks lower and then resell um, I'll, I'll maybe do a longer video on, on why we think the 30s just they're gonna have a real real hard time going up long term now for maybe the next couple of years but um, this is something to watch out for today we're gonna be up in this 139.10 area uh, selling Z B front month, which is deck. What else is out there? We got the uh, South African uh, budget. Uh, I believe we are now a week away from that, or I think it's the 23rd. Don't quote me on that, but the budget is approaching. We have to start look at look at looking again at ways of getting short czar with the assumption they're going to screw this budget up like they always do. Um, no real specific strategy at the moment. We, we had a moderate down day on, uh, on Friday, and now we have this little pivot here, 1442. Um, as soon as I get my head around the exact points we're going to be getting long dollars are, I will throw it on Twitter. What else is there? Um, Aussie, not much. Dollar cat stuck on the 130 handle. Let's just leave it at that. Our focus is going to be on this euro yen uh, heading into the open, based on the political news out of Germany and general risk off. You could throw in the Italian budget situation. You see, BTPs are still on the 119 handle. Um, Boons probably go higher today at the open now that I think about it. But uh, we're going to focus on this euro yen. Uh, core short euro yen into the open today. And then uh, we will trade around the short side uh, for this Monday in October. All right, I'll leave you guys with that, and I will talk to you tomorrow.